welcome to Easy Gluten Free. Just like I promised you in my little Halloween horror flick a few days ago, today we're going to be butchering a whole beef tenderloin to get beautiful filet mignon steaks at a more affordable price. And it's really not difficult to do at all. And you can pick up a whole beef tenderloin right in the regular supermarket now. And this beef, which is actually a free range product of Australia, was being sold for $8.99 a pound, but it was on sale for $5.99 a pound. So it started at $38.84 before they deducted $12.96, bringing the total cost down to only $25.88. But back to the butchering. When you open the cryovac bag, it's a good idea to just snip open one end of the bag then lower the tenderloin down into a large casserole dish to catch any blood that might drip out. But actually, this was packaged with little butcher sponges that kept it practically mess free. Now since I didn't have a cutting board large enough to tackle this project, I just laid the whole thing out onto a large piece of parchment paper. And a whole beef tenderloin essentially contains three main parts. In the middle, there's the actual tenderloin itself, which is where we'll cut the filet mignon steaks. And at the wider top end, there's a shorter muscle attached to the tenderloin, usually called the head or the wing. Then running along the side, there's a long thin piece called the chain. And before you even get your knife involved here, you can just use your fingers to separate it from the main muscle. And you'll see that it detaches pretty easily until you get to the top. And then you can just use a small boning knife to follow through until you reach the end and then you can set this aside and that's all good meat so don't throw this piece away okay now to remove the head portion on the side with the silver skin the definition of the muscle is pretty clear so I turned it over and aiming towards the defined part on the other side just followed along with my knife until the muscle was freed from the main tenderloin now one of the most important parts to this whole procedure is removing the tough inedible silver skin and to do this at about two inches from the bottom of the silver skin carefully slide your knife under but as close to the silver skin as possible and now you've got a tail to hold on to as you reverse direction and make another pass going towards the top and I do apologize for the fact that I work without a cameraman and didn't do a very good job framing this shot but I did include a few links in the description box of some chefs that have done a better job capturing this. Next we can go back and trim off any small pieces of silver skin that were left behind and again always angle that knife away from the meat. Then look over the fillet and trim off any visible fat always aiming towards the waste product and not the meat and once you have both sides done we're ready to cut the steaks. And I cut off about the first two inches of the narrow side and added it to the saved scraps pile. And since I started with a fairly small tenderloin, I cut each steak fairly thick so it would be a decent portion size. And I ended up with nine steaks that were between four and five and a half ounces. Now let's look at that scrap pile again. For the chain, you could use it in ground meat or you could trim it and slice it fairly thin in a stir fry. But I'll probably trim it up, combine it with the other scraps and make a beef, red wine, and mushroom ragu, and serve it over penne or polenta. And all the meat we butchered today can be frozen. Just individually wrap each piece tightly in plastic or a sandwich bag, then put them into a larger freezer bag so you can take out just what you need. And in my next video, we'll be covering how to cook the perfect steak. So whether you like your meat very rare like me, medium rare, medium well, or completely ruined, I, I mean well done, I'll show you exactly how to execute it perfectly. And if you'd like to check out my recipes, you could always visit my blog at the link below. And for brand new recipes every week, don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.